Hello, how's it going boys? What is up? It's uh, time for yet another character impress impressions. This time we have the 2024 of uh, Valentine characters. We're going to check them out. Uh, now featuring Nehan for the first one. I'll go for Tiger later on. Okay, so Nehan's uh, Valentine version has uh, 1134 HP, 80-10 uh, attack. He's fire now. For he only his other one, which is grand, which is uh, light. So now his second one is fire. He's a gun and melee user. The same special. All right. His ogi is gift. Caston. Restore fire, allies HP, three turn cut to Nehan skill cooldowns. Uh, isn't that the same as the grand one as well? Sweet treatment. Sweet treatment effect to another fire ally consumes twenty five percent of caster's max HP. Double attack, win attack damage is lowered. Normal attack damage is amplified. Attacks with elemental superiority deal boosted damage. Normal attack and CA damage dealt is partially absorbed to HP, so that's strain. Nourishment. Nourishment, nourishment effect to another fire ally. Instant CA standby consume 30% caster's max HP. Charge bar will be boosted after charge attack. CA reactivation effect at the end of Effect. Two turns. Cannot be removed, cannot be extended. Elysium. Shield effect to fire allies. Sharp boost to debuff resistance. Buffs can be removed. Consume 25% of a cast ma a caster's max HP. So what? He has barrier, veil, and dispel cancel. So he doesn't have a uh, double strike on this one. So he's shit, right? Dulcet times, low defense, high dot rate at the end of turn when Nehan didn't take damage, 6 hit nuke to a foe. Wholeness? <laughs> Tank and counter effect 2 hits with 2 ally with sweet treatment of a treatment effect. Upon allies charge attacks 20% boost to Nehan's charge bar, mitigate damage taken. Oh, And also the funny thing that this is only uh, one target instead of the whole party member. I mean the whole party. This is single target. Restore fire allies HP is 3000. Then sweet treatment is guaranteed double attack. 50% wind damage lowered. Amplify normal attack damage by 10%. 100% chance to get 20% more damage crit. And then the drain is 2000. Alright, sounds kind of whatever. Nourishment. Gain 100% charge bar upon charge attack. Oh, oh so you can just ogi again. I see. Gain CA reactivation one time when nourishment ends. Yeah, so they just Ogi, yeah. Ogi, dude, Ogi. And then this one is 10,000 shield. 20,000, wait, 200% debuff resistance? <laughs> wait, 200%? I thought 100% is already more enough. Why 200%? Wait, what? <laughs> Why is it 200%? Is that a typo? Or is that like a... Is that like a thing where... He's also immune to the ones that you cannot get debuffed. <laughs> and then the spell cancel. Okay, passive. Low defense is 30% uh, uh, de lower defense. And he has 30% dodge rate. And then at the end of turn when he doesn't take damage, the 6 hit is 100k per hit. Tank and counter effect to switch treatment. And then... Uh, when ally uses a charge attack, yeah, then damage mitigation is 3000. <laughs> it needs like 150% chance to debuff. Yeah, it's just like, it doesn't make sense, right? Because usually we are very, very used to like, if it's 100% debuff resistance, it just means they are resistant already, right? Because yeah, you, you have 100% negation already, right? So like, wh why is there a need to go above 100%, right? It's odd. <laughs> Blazing Reckon. What the hell is this? <laughs> Medium Garrison and Hellfire's Grace. Yeah, that looks like garbage. Alright, so his EMP is... EMP. So he has two healing. He has two healing, one fire attack, charge bar, and dodge. One triple and double attack, two defense, he has two attack. If you kind of want to manual this guy or somewhat full auto i mean his first skill you have to manually press because yeah it's, man it's single target right 
because it says to another airline, not all fire airlines, right? Yeah. To another fire ally, I'm pretty sure that's single target. So only one character can have that. And that lasts for 8 turns. Yeah, same goes for the second skill as well. So this character, yeah, he's very manual-ish in a way. That, well then, then again, you, I feel like you can technically kind of run full auto without uh, with him as well in a way. Where you just straight up ignore his first two skills. <laughs> I feel like you technically could do that, but at the same time, it's like, I mean... You could just use like Zeta or some other shit, right? At this point, <laughs> and and those characters are, are probably much easier to aim for rather than this guy is only appearing like twice a year, right? <laughs> use Zeta Percival, that shit is probably like way better compared to this guy, <laughs> isn't it? No. <laughs> so I don't know. So I guess if you want a full auto, you probably want this too, right? You want this too. This one is obviously a must to give him consistent damage. And then if you want a full auto as well, you definitely want this too as well. So that's like 5 already and then the remaining slots, you just put either defense or attack and call it a day. Yeah, you definitely want to save rolls right now with anniversary coming. The the, the Valentine the Valentine uh, uh, version of Nehan doesn't seem to be significant enough to actually aim for if you really want to power spike your team or whatever. He seems kind of ass because like... Another thing is that, oops, another thing is like, he, uh, his only uh, AOE is just his heals and this thing. And it's not like he can clear either. He can heal, yes, he can uh, give you shield, debuff resistance, but there's no clear, right? Or any form of like, uh, the, uh, if so happen, your guy, you guys, uh, your team met, uh, got hit by a, on this unclearable debuff, right? This guy doesn't even have the uh, the reduced duration or some shit. Because usually the characters that has like reduced duration, those are good for those particular situations, right? Where because they are not, you cannot clear those, but you can reduce the ter the amount of turns of that debuff. You know, say like uh, take take like uh, Satter for example, right? Earth Satter has that on her second skill. And she can automatically cast that as well. Which if you have like any form of debuff like lasts for usually it's like three turns. Uh Earth Setter can technically minus two out of that. So in a way the next turn is like it's kinda gone already in a way. So yeah. So this guy doesn't even have that. So he has to like <laughs> if you only able to like negate right off the bat, then he's okay. If he's in your if you're in a situation where they actually can debuff you even though you have this, you're fucked. <laughs> in a way, it actually is. Because his skills is like how how was the 16 turns? So after you level him, this goes down to 16 turns, this goes down to 14 turns, right? Even so, his cooldown is so freaking slow that you need to ogi like crazy in order for you to actually get them usable super fast as well so that's another problem <laughs> but yeah i feel like you can kind of use him if you spam ogi a lot <laughs> and if you manual as well because i feel like you probably am only able to make better use out of this guy if you manual him because of his first two skills are not like aoe or like party wide stuff so you have to manual aim and for one I remember manual aiming stuff is not like full autoable. Yeah. But for the most part he's like just mediocre at best. Maybe in some ways it might be usable in a Kango team or whatever with Higurashi or some shit. I don't know. But I don't know man. <laughs> I, I feel like there's better fire characters out there to actually uh make use of even like uh summer summer medusa might actually be better too in a way yeah i feel like summer medusa is like much better to use for like something like that because you know at least summer medusa has like unchallenged unchallenged you get that as well i mean this is just a veil sure and then you get counter you get that and then she auto nukes after you get a specific point she gets auto nukes she can dispel every single turn kind of thing and then she also has this where it just straight up makes the uh, the the foe can attack or whatever. So it's like way better, right? <laughs> I mean, if you're like trying to compare with other limited versions, like the ones where it's not there all the time, like grand versions, okay? So like, 
yeah, this one is like way better to use in a way, I feel, <laughs> in comparison to Nehan in a way. Oh yeah, it's like yeah, Nehan on paper doesn't sound too bad, but yeah, this I think I think this is like way heck, even if you want to compare so well, right? I would even think that Athena, a subtacable character, is probably you have like much better use out of in comparison to Nehan. Where the hell is Athena? Yeah. Athena. Like Athena being a subtacable character, so it's just like it's always in the pool, is like way better. You have wind switch, you have refresh, you have dispel cancel, you have 40% wind uh, cut, and then you have armor, you have the debuffs, and then buffs to your entire team, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's like so much better, right? <laughs> and then you also get a challenge one hit to an entire team, too. It's like. <laughs> Like characters like these provide way more in comparison to like what Nehan has to offer. Because Nehan is like, yeah, sure, it's cool and all, but like, it's not even close to like the 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 grand version of Nehan, right? Grand version of Nehan is just a fucking monster, right? <laughs> because all allies, number one, all allies, all allies, double strike, all allies, <laughs> excluding himself. But it's still, it's fucking nuts, right? <laughs> <laughs> not his his Valentine is not even close to this. It's like they try to do it similar as this, but it's not even close. So <laughs> can't can compare, man. You can't compare that shit, dude. Yeah, I would even say that uh, I think Christmas Noah was it the previous uh, Noah and his fire as well, right? Even much better than. I remember seeing his not his his skill kit being much better than this shit. So uh, yeah, I think for Nehan, you can probably just ignore him. It's not that good. Like I say, I feel like he's probably just going to be mediocre at best, just because that other characters kind of shines out, shines shines a little bit more than him. Like just based on kind of what he's trying to do, or what he can do, versus what others can do, right? So yeah, it's uh sure. Another one I can feel like is easily forgotten as well. But yeah, I guess that's really about it. Yeah, most likely it's just gonna be a skin. Yeah, it looks cool, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, his second picture is like, uh, not this one. <laughs> Where's his second picture? Yeah, there you see a random Shota there. He's being uh, very, very nice and calm and shit. I guess if you like that, sure, I suppose. But yeah, that's that's mostly about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video of uh, Tiger. Yep. Okay.